Warning. This poem is filled with language that might make an old lady clutch her pearls. <laughs> You're going to see how foul my mouth can get, especially when I drop the F word. Fat. <gasps> Must be a bad word. <laughs> Keyboard assassins use it all the time. Directed at individuals who are overweight, but their own business is the only thing that's on their mind. And when these Twitter thugs are caught on any bullshit, they dress the F word up in a Sunday suit and hat and say that it's simply for their health, that they degrade, dehumanize, and demean them with the word fat. But someone like me, who's never been comfortable with her size, and I certainly don't fall in the green part of the BMI, if I say that I want liposuction and a tummy tuck, they will reply, girl, what you need there for? Love yourself. You look fine. Lincoln's Memorial, Lincoln's Head. Two sides of the same coin. Rhetoric that can leave us both dead. This isn't the first version of this poem, nor is it number two. <laughs> because like the keyboard killers, I thought fat was a bad word too. Hello, saying it again. <laughs> so I tried to replace it with words that were sweet and sublime. Didn't want this poem to be filled with cyanide lines. And in that moment, I realized that I'm too part of the problem. Yes, me. Society, just like an R.I.P., did a great job to program me. But baby, if you're fat, you're fat. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I would love to see those who wake up in their mama's basement to start their day on fat attack, to watch a whole Lizzo show and do only five minutes of all that. <laughs> who killed Lucifer and made these folks the gatekeepers of hell? Self-appointed SOBs that decide that your right to live peacefully depends on the number that shows up on your scale. Well, let me say this. 74% of this country is overweight. That means for every four people, three, we're probably going to get an extra plate. I'm three, by the way. <clears throat> when I get my second plate, I got tunnel vision. I only worry about what's in front of me because I can't benefit from the goodness on my dish if I'm worried about the plate that's next to me. Yes, being overweight is not good for your health. But you know what else I ain't? Worrying about another motherfucker that ain't yourself. <laughs>